I am Colonel Russell Molesky. Good evening. I am one of three Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps instructors at Western Hills High School and a 34-year veteran of the United States Air Force. Before we present our nation's flag and anthem, I have the honor of recognizing those of you who serve or have served in our armed forces along with this year's graduates who are joining the armed forces and have signed their enlistment paperwork with a ship out date. First, as a fellow veteran, I would like to recognize all of you veterans, active duty, reservists, air and Army National Guard, retirees, and all others who have honorably served our country. To those of the United States Army, the United States Navy, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Air Force, and the United States Coast Guard, we owe our freedom to you and your families for the many sacrifices you have made Eventually, this recognition will include future members of the United States Space Force. Now, to you graduates who have made the formal decision to join the Armed Forces of the United States, let me extend recognition by the following branches. In the United States Army, Alexander Lopez and Isaac Moreno. And in the Texas Army National Guard, Star Day Randall. In the United States Navy, Wyatt Adams, Traylon Hawkins, and Lazor Nelson. In the United States Marine Corps, Eric Bowie and George Martinez Cruz. To our graduates joining the United States military, take it from all of us veterans. Our nation is protected and defended by the greatest, best trained, and most prepared military of our modern age. Finally, I want to take just a moment and specially recognize one of our Western Hills faculty who is also a fellow veteran, having previously served a sterling career in the United States Air Force, a dear mentor to me and special friend to us all, who has provided a further 15 years of devoted service to our Western Hills Cougars. Michael Robinson, Master Sergeant, U.S. Air Force, retired. You are a blessing from above. Clear skies and unlimited visibilities in your days ahead, my brother. Again, we thank you all for your service. Hua. URA anchors away and air power. Our program will now commence with the national anthem and the posting of colors.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, faculty, and the class of 2020. My name is Jesse Villarreal, and I have had the privilege to serve as a senior class officer. On behalf of the senior class and faculty of Western Hills High School, I would like to welcome you to our, welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Next week on June 25th at 7 p.m., you are invited to a voluntary in-person celebration at Farrington Field. Thank you for sharing this time with us. Good evening, students, faculty, family, and friends. I am Mrs. Flores, the proud principal of Western Hills High School. I want to welcome you to our 2020 commencement ceremony and to congratulate our graduating seniors. Class of 2020, I want you to know how unique and special you are. You were born in the year our country was dealing with one of the scariest attacks on our freedom, and you are graduating during a global pandemic. These two remarkable bookends in your life have bonded you together as a generation. Just as the tragedies of 9-11 reshaped the way we do things and made us a stronger nation, so will this time. Your generation is clearly destined for greatness. Tomorrow, the start of something new brings the hope of something great. Anything is possible. You will have this moment going into the world just once. Do it right. This is the day you have been waiting for, a day of excitement and pleasure. Enjoy it. May it always be a memory that you treasure. I hope you enjoy success in everything you do and that the very best in life will always come to you. To the senior class of 2020, your parents and your teachers, congratulations, your journey is just beginning. Hello, class of 2020. Graduation from high school is a great accomplishment in any year, but especially in 2020. You've probably seen the billboards Fort Worth ISD put up around town congratulating you. They describe you with three words, accomplished, determined, and resilient. Resilience is defined as the ability or skills to recover from misfortune or change. And psychologists say resilience is one of the most important traits you can have for long-term happiness and success. Well, the class of 2020 has a head start on resilience. COVID-19 turned your senior year upside down. It radically changed graduation and separated you from your friends. It even stole your prom. But here's what it did not do and what it could not take. First, your pride for what you've accomplished under very challenging circumstances. Second, the conviction in your heart that you have something to offer this world. And third, this pandemic will not steal the celebration you deserve. Wherever you are right now, I hope you are loud and proud. Know that we are all cheering right along with you your principals, teachers, coaches, classmates, and of course, your family. Now, it would not be a commencement without a little advice. So quickly, here are little things I promise will add up to big things. First, stay informed. Check in each day to a reputable news source to learn what's going on in the world and in your community. It will broaden your thinking, impress your friends, and prepare you to vote. Vote. Stay close to your role models. Watch how they get things done without losing their humanity. Believe in yourself, even when you fail, especially when you fail. Admit your mistakes, be woman or man enough to apologize, and keep right on moving toward your dreams. If you don't remember these things, you'll be fine. You'll learn them on your own because you are resilient. You are the class of 2020. It has been a great privilege to be your superintendent. All of us wish you health, happiness, and success on your next journey, whether as a college student, a new employee, or a brand new recruit in the military. We love you. God bless. To the graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations on your accomplishments in this extraordinary year. I'm pleased to be with you as your school board trustee and bring a few words of encouragement at this important time. This is definitely a day to celebrate and a moment to remember. So are you going to remember all I have to say today? Of course not. But I'm about to give you four pieces of advice, and if just one or two stick, they will help you in the days to come. 
first, make sure you're always learning something. Today doesn't mark the end of your education, it's the beginning, a commencement as you commence to expand your world. Almost all new undertakings these days require at least two years of education after your high school diploma. If you don't already have a plan for that, make one. Second, find something you truly enjoy or are good at, whether in an educational course or a career path, and then commit to showing up and putting in the work it takes to really learn and master it. You might take that a step further Jaime Kasap, the chief educational evangelist at Google, told students and recent graduates to ask yourself, what problem do I want to solve? If you can answer that, you know what your path should be. You won't do this alone. Third, always do your part as a team member. Your ability to work with others will determine your success. The give and take of teamwork is really about treating your colleagues and others with dignity and respect. Finally, build effective communication skills. Few among us are naturally great communicators. It's something we must work on. As long as you are challenging yourself to be ever better at what you do, you will enjoy a rich and rewarding life full of growth and discovery. We are honored to be part of your life so far. We're incredibly proud to be here at the launch of the next phase of your life, and we wish you the best. Congratulations. Howdy, Fort Worth ISD, and congratulations to the brave and courageous class of 2020. I am proud of you. I am extremely happy to share with you that today you bring honor to our community. You bring honor to our community not because of the innovations that you will bring to us in the future, but we are proud of you today because you have reached such an important day by graduating from high school. Forward ISD, I am happy to be your commencement speaker. My name is Jose Luis Celaya. I am originally from San Pedro Sula, Honduras. And I have experienced the power of higher education in a tremendous way. You see, I'm also a father, a father of Amaris Josie, who is about to turn nine months old. But as I think about this concept of education, one thing I know, and that is that education is power, that education has the ability to be able to transform our communities and to be able to bring a sense of hope that our families for a very long time desperately have pursued. And I applaud you for reaching such an incredible point in life. Many of you thought about dropping out. Many of you thought that it was going to be difficult graduating from high school. But today, today you make us proud. Many of you are first generation college students and you have instilled, you have put in your, your soul and your mind into a process that you think will change your life. We are currently living a very difficult time, a time where anxiety, where depression or fear is hitting many of us and affecting our mental well-being. But the reality is, is that you were not born in the wrong time. The reality is, is that you were born in the right time to be able to bring solutions to the problems that nobody in the world currently knows. You were born to be able to bring solutions to the major problems that our communities are facing. You were born in the right time. So I congratulate you. We are proud of you because by reaching high school graduation, you share with the world, you share with your community that you believe in a set of values that pursuing education will create opportunities for your family, that will create a roadmap for your future generations to come. Today, we are proud of you because by reaching this point, you have proven to our society that you are resilient, that despite the circumstances, that despite the obstacles of the challenges, that in the middle of the ashes you should rise. We are proud because of your grit, because whenever people told you you were not going to be able to do it, because when the resources lack, or whenever you have to make a decision whether going to work or going to school, you made the right decision by going to school. We are proud of you because of your ganas, because of your desire to succeed. Today, today we're proud of you. We're proud of you for graduating from high school, for being the courageous class of 2020. 
But let's be fair. Let's be honest. The reality is, is that this great achievement does not come on its own. Many people told me that my percentage of graduating from college were almost zero. And many of them were correct, because alone, alone you can't. But as a community, as a community you can. You see, I was born in the very humble city of San Pedro Sula, Honduras, which has been considered one of the most dangerous places on earth. There I experienced poverty from a very difficult perspective where I lost my little brother because we didn't have money to take him to a hospital. But to you, to you who want to go into the medical field, to you who want to become a nurse and be able to bring health and safety to our community, you inspire me. You bring hope to my life. You see, I experienced violence from a very young age. I experienced Hurricane Mitch in the year 1998, which forced my mother and I to be separated after she had to migrate to the United States to Houston to a shelter. I lived in Honduras as a street child for almost two years, at which time I became victim of gang violence and ended up migrating to the United States as an unaccompanied minor in hopes of reunifying with my family. You see, I was not born in a golden crib, but I understand that an education can change your life. I understand that pursuing an education can completely create a generational impact. And because you have reached this point, I congratulate you and I honor you. You see, I migrated to the United States and I didn't know a word of English. Not only did I become the first one in my family to graduate from high school, but I pursued an associate's degree at a community college. It was educators who empowered me and told me that my past did not define my future. It was seeing the sacrifices of my parents that put in me a desire to one day tell my mother, you no longer have to work. Education provided me a sense of hope. It provided me a sense of empowerment. It provided me a sense that if I could graduate from college, that I would change the lives of my family, the lives of the people I love the most. I transferred to Texas a and University, where I completed a bachelor's in math and science. I then completed a master's in English as a second language, and I just recently completed a PhD in urban education. The way that my future generations need to be raised is very different because education provides me a platform to be able to bring hope to our community in this very difficult time. But today, today it's about you. And education gives you a pen in which you can rewrite your own story. For those of you who are going to go to the armed forces and to fight for the safety of our community, I thank you. For those of you who are going into the medical field, for those of you who are going into education, for those of you who are going to help your parents run your own business, for those of you who are going to college, for those of you who put their hope in education, I salute you and I respect you. And education is going to change your life. And today, today, my main message to you is this. We are the sacrifices of our parents. We are the advices of our teachers. We are the empowerment of our community. And education, education is hope. Congratulations, class of 2020. You make us proud. Congratulations, Forward Independent School District. Congratulations, scholars. Congratulations, familia. Congratulations, community. We did it. Today is a day of honor. Today is a day of victory. Today, we gain educated scholars who will continue to find solutions to the problems that our community needs the most. So once again, it has been my great privilege to address you to share with you the power of higher education and to remind you that education will create a generational impact. Once again, congratulations, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Forward ISD.
evening. I am Leslie Gomez, a senior class officer. Today we celebrate the graduating class of 2020 in a most unusual way, and I would like to offer a prayer. Please bow your heads with us. Today we thank you for our time together, for our school, for our teachers, for our family, and for all of our friends. During this season of new beginnings and as this chapter in our life closes, we ask you that you help make our way clear and guide our footsteps into the future. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Class of 2020, as the Lord says in Joshua 1.9, be strong and courageous, for the Lord will be with you wherever you go. It is time to walk with confidence and never forget our Cougar family or our Cougar pride. Good evening, my name is Alex Bala and I have had the pleasure of serving as, as the senior class co-president of the class of 2020. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Linda Mendoza y yo he tenido el placer de servir como presidenta de la clase 2020. We are here to thank the people who held our hands in elementary school, dealt with our crazy antics in middle school, sat in the rain, cold, and heat during our activities, listened to our high school drama, and always found a way to make things happen even when money was tight. Estamos aquí para dar gracias a quien nos agarró de la mano en la primaria, aguantó nuestras travesuras en la secundaria, escuchó nuestro drama de la preparatoria, y los que siempre encontraron la manera de hacer cosas posibles aun cuando el dinero era poco. These people come with titles such as mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, cousin, godparent, or friend. Whoever, whoever these special guardians may be, all of their support and love has helped us to arrive where we are now. Regardless of the label, their impact should not go unacknowledged. Vienen con títulos como mamá, papá, tías o tíos, abuelos, abuelas, primos, padrinos o amigos. Quien sea nuestro guardián especial, todo su apoyo y amor nos ayudó a llegar a donde estamos hoy. Sin importar el título, su impacto debería ser reconocido. Since we were little, they have been there every step of the way, from our first steps, to our first day of school, to our first pandemic, and now our high school graduation. Desde que éramos chiquitos, ellos han estado con nosotros cada paso. Desde nuestros primeros pasos, nuestro primer día de escuela, Nuestra primer pandemia y ahora nuestra graduación. So on behalf of my fellow classmates, thank you for showing us unconditional love all of the time, even when we made it difficult. Así que de parte de mis compañeros, gracias por siempre darnos amor incondicional hasta cuando lo hicimos difícil. And to my fellow classmates, I hope that sometime today, you take the time to thank your special people, whomever they may be, for all the hard work, sacrifices, and dedication they have shown you throughout your life. Thank you. Y a mis compañeros, deseo que encuentren el momento de su día para agradecer a su gente especial, quien quiera que sea, por su apoyo, sacrificios, y dedicación que te han dado durante tu vida. Gracias.
Hello, graduating class of 2020. We finally made it to graduation. I know some of us thought this moment would never arrive. I remember our first day of high school, our freshman year, everybody was nervous. Almost everyone was shy and had trouble finding the right classroom. They only spoke to those they recognized from middle school. Today, however, finding the right classroom seems easy and almost second nature. As we walk along the hallways, we stop to chat with friends we recognize from various middle schools and we don't feel nervous at all. Through this journey, we've had many ups and downs. We've had embarrassing moments like shouting out the wrong answers, tripping down the hallway, or falling down the bleachers during live television, which I've experienced firsthand. We've lost friends, we've failed, and we've gotten angry. However, we've also experienced great accomplishments like winning games, passing our classes, receiving awards, and now graduating. Um, we've had good moments like when, we, when the fire drill saved us from book work or when we got to play another round of Kahoot, but mainly we've gained friends we will stay in contact with forever. Our last moments of our senior year may be filled with the threat of World War III, murder hornets, and a pandemic, but our ability to be here today and still celebrate our accomplishments shows that our class can get through anything the world throws at us. I know that I did not share these experiences with just myself, so I'd like to thank some people who shared this journey with me. First of all, I'd like to thank all of my peers. Our friends are the people who made going to school a little better and who made waking up early a little less dreadful. I appreciate all of my friends for their motivation, great fun, hilarious group chats, and their reminders for due dates. We went through a lot of the same stuff and we were able to support and relate to one another. Next, I'd like to thank all of my teachers and coordinators and everyone who worked at this school. I've made so many great connections and I'm sure that you all have too. My teachers not only taught me, but they motivated me, and some even made me excited to learn and be in our class. While being at this school, I knew I was able to get help from anyone who worked here if I needed it. I appreciate all the teachers who helped me, congratulated me, and who really cared for me and every other student. I've seen, the, I've seen many of the people working here reach out to students and families to make sure the rest of our senior year was as good as possible, so thank you. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family. For them, their biggest concern was my awful sleep schedule. Their standards were never impossible to meet as they are proud of me for me. I want to thank them for being involved in my life and school and for always cheering me on during competitions and performances. I want to especially thank my mom who cheered me on and got involved with all of my activities. Um, on top of her busy work schedule and everything else in her life, she dedicated so much of her energy towards helping me succeed to where I am today. So I love you, mom. Um, these experiences have shaped us into who we are today. We have grown, matured, and are prepared to begin a new chapter in our lives. Some of us may be unsure of where we'll go next, while others of us know exactly where we're going. Whatever you decide, you can move forward no matter what. We have worked hard to be here, so congratulations, Senior Class of 2020. Good evening. I would like to welcome and recognize each of you watching today for the unique role that you have played in supporting and now celebrating the class of 2020. I know that the sustained efforts of parents, guardians, teachers, faculty, and mentors were vital to my own growth and success throughout high school, and the same is true for my peers. So on behalf of myself and my classmates, whether you raised, taught, guided, encouraged one of today's graduates, thank you. Personally, I'm so grateful to my family that has provided me with a strong support system at every step of the way, offering guidance and motivation in the good times and comfort and kindness in the difficult. Now to the class of 2020. I hope you've had a chance to reflect on your accomplishments so far and the people that have helped you achieve them. For many of us, those people are the faculty of Western Hills who care about us as both learners and people. The summer before my challenging senior year, I received a postcard in the mail from Ms. Clark, who taught me both freshman and junior year. She had taken the time to make postcards for all of her IB students that were personalized. A sincere message of encouragement was written on the back of mine, and on the front was a hand-done collage, including a quote from The Art of Abundance by Candy Paul. As we move into our futures filled with a mix of both excitement for what is to come and apprehension for the obstacles that are certain to arise, I'd like to share the quote with you all. It said, 
Look through a telescope, a microscope, a kaleidoscope. Put on your rose-colored glasses and seek the beauty, wonder, and wildness of this ever-changing world. My hope for all of us is that we can take these words to heart as we continue to grow. I hope that we will calmly adapt to uncertainties, stay curious about the vast world surrounding us, and discover appreciation for the beauty of wherever we find ourselves. Congratulations and best of luck to you all, the Western Hills Class of 2020. Jenna Marie Mullender. Thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me getting here today. Andy Clunt. Uh, thank you, family, teachers, and friends for everything. Uh, I really appreciate it. Abby Michelle Willis. Thank you to all my teachers and thank you to my classmates for helping me and thank you to my parents for pushing me and thank you just for being there in my life. I love you all. Thank you very much. Alexandra Nicole Wise. I'd like to thank my mom and I'd like to thank all my siblings and my friends for always being there for me and always supporting me through everything. Jorge Armando Narvaez Rodriguez. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers and everybody in the IB program that helped me get here. Shout out to Ms. Frost, my biology teacher, for getting me through the most. Kevin Alonso Mendoza Torres. Caitlin Mari Wilshire. I want to give a special thanks to all of my IB teachers, Mr. Collins, Mr. Sanks, Ms. Clark, and everybody else, and especially all of my IB classmates. Naida Cristina Prado. Well, I'm graduating. It's good enough. And I'm going to UNT to major in psychology. Yay! Jocelyn Adriana Covarrubias. I'm grateful for my friends, family, and teachers who pushed me to succeed and continue to help me along. Selene Yasmin Hernandez. I'd like to thank my friends and family and all the staff at Western Hills for helping me reach my achievements. Chloe Rochelle Banchetti. I want to say thank you to my parents for always being there supporting me, and I want to say thank you to all the teachers for always being there for everyone. Jordan Denise Douglas Jones. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's helped me throughout the years, and yeah. Melina Rose Duarte. I want to thank my family and then everyone that was in choir with me and all my other friends. Nancy Alexander Ekpe. I'd like to say thank you to all my Western Hills teachers and my parents, my mom and dad. Just thank you for being supportive and thank you. I love you guys. Damaria Denise Freeman. I just want to thank everybody that impacted me and it taught me a lot of lessons. Andres Galavis. I just want to thank my parents for everything they've done to me. I'm really glad that I had the ability to come to Western Hills. I just want to thank everybody that's come along my career. Dominique Rianne Givens. Luke Jose Hanna. I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and my dad, and um, just thank you for all the hard work you put in with me and dealing with me. And now you got four more years of me in college. Kadari Esau. Megan James. I want to thank all my friends and family for supporting me through this weird time because I know it's very uncertain and everything, but um, thank you to everyone and love you guys. Nathaniel Martinez. I'd like to thank all my IB teachers for molding me into the student I need to be to, for college readiness. It's been a great help, and especially to my mom for being there 
for my emotional and mental support. Layla Salis Post Oak. Anaya Dolores Rodriguez. I would like to thank all the people that have impacted my life during these last four years. I think I will remember this high school experience for the rest of my life, and I'd like to thank all the teachers and experiences that I've had. Sonia Elizabeth Sanchez. And I just want to say thank you so much to all my IB teachers. You guys did an amazing job with me, and I know I'm well prepared for Brielle Janae Smith. Thank you, Western Hills. Heaven Rayshawn Smith. Uh, thank you for all the love and support from my family, and have a good day. Be safe. Thank you. Kiana Trenise Spencer. First and foremost, I want to thank God for letting me graduate. I want to thank my family, my friends, and shout out to all the IB teachers who helped me make it here. So, yeah, thanks. Deborah Jean Williams. I just want to say thank you to my parents and my teachers for always pushing me, and thank you to my classmates for always helping me. I love you all. Sine Latreya Wolf. Thank you to all my friends and my family for supporting me and especially my teachers for getting me through all four years. Thank you. Ariana Hope Aaron. Um, I'd probably like to thank my mom the most. She encouraged me the most out of everyone ever. She made me want to pass all of my classes. Savannah Sky Acevedo. I just want to say thank you to my family, my mom, and my older sister for encouraging me to take that extra step in school. And I just want to thank everyone who helped me to get here. Jacob Noel Acosta. 2020, we made it. Uh, I want to thank all my friends for always being there for me and my family always supporting me all the way. And we just made it to 2020. Wyatt Kiefer Adams. I'm going to be going to the Navy. I've been in JRTC all four years of high school. I've learned that if you work hard, you can achieve anything. Crystal Aguero. Thank you for everyone that helped me get here where I'm at, especially to my parents for giving me the world. It would not have been possible without their support. Thank you to everyone. Daisy Karina Alfaro. Quiero agradecerles a mis padres por apoyarme siempre en todo y gracias a ellos pude tener una vida mejor en los Estados Unidos. Lazaro Alvarez Garcia. I want to thank my parents for supporting me throughout this all my four school years. Jesus A. Andazola. Anneli Avalos. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for encouraging and supporting me. Sarah Elizabeth Baker. I want to thank Coach Yeager for being my volleyball coach, my softball coach, Coach Amen, Mr. Posey, Bonville, also Miss Price, and Mr. Cook for being the best teachers. Montoya Caera Simone Barron. Ashley Kate Belisle. I'd like to thank Mr. Onchondo for being an amazing teacher and Coach Amen for being my favorite teacher. And I've known her for seven years. She's been my favorite. Thank you. Kelvin Ray Bell. I just want to give a special thanks to my mom for being here for me and supporting me and helping me through to graduate and keep me pushing. Spend Bakari. I just want to say thank you to all my classmates and all my teachers for believing in me and pushing me to keep going forward and giving me all the motivation to graduate this year. Christopher Tyrone Blakeney. I would like to thank my dad, my grandma, for keeping me on a straight path, keeping me in high school, and allowing me to be a better me in life. David Bonilla. I want to thank my teachers 
for making me work hard for four years. Traylon LaVar Bonner. I want to thank my mama. I want to thank all my teachers, the principals, the uh, counselors, and... Eric Lee Bowie. I want to thank my parents and the teachers that inspired me or helped me to graduate in my senior year. Zeta Bradford. Hannah Lee Briner. I want to thank my mom for helping me through this difficult time and getting me through all these years of school. Dania Rayana Jari Brown. I'd like to thank all my teachers for making my senior year better than what I expected it to be. Marcus D'Angelo Biltron. Oh, uh, shout out to my mom. Molly Kristen Butler. I miss being able to make things and just have fun creating things in the class. Xavion Thomas Camp. So, you know, really didn't think I was going to graduate for the longest, but, you know, we're here. Otoniel Caraveo. Uh, I just want to give a special thanks to Westman Hills and all my teachers for everything they've done for me and everything I learned throughout the uh, school year. Kadarius Kishan Carr. I would like to thank my parents, coaches, teachers, and the whole entire Western Hills community for support over four years. Janae Elise Carter. I would like to shout out to my mom for getting me this far, and I'd like to thank Mr. Anchando and Ms. Deals for all of the always believing in me. Thank you so much. Jonathan Eduardo Castellon. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the school and all my teachers for for helping me pass and all that. Joshua Andrew Castillo. Uh, I just want to thank my mom, my dad, and my grandparents. Yeah. Jonathan Castro. Uh, shout out to my parents. Rigoberto Ceballos. I thank everything for all the staff and all that for helping me out getting through. And Katerin Chamul. Amanda Grace Clark. I want to thank my mom for pushing me to go outside of my comfort zone. Aurora Calisto Coleman. Nakaya Janelle Cooper. Uh, I just want to thank all my teachers and, uh, uh, and my basketball coach and softball coach. And I'm good. Eddie Emmanuel Cordero Morales. I would like to thank my teachers for helping me through the years. And I appreciate everything they have done for the school and the students. Elvin Samuel Cordero Morales. I'd like to thank every teacher that showed me everything throughout the, every school year. Cesar Alberto Cruz. I want to give a big thank you to my teachers that uh, helped me through the school year. And I want to give a shout out to my family that always helped me through everything. Diani Marie Dancy. Um, I want to get a shout out to Ms. Anchando for being the best teacher ever. Marco Antonio Davila Mendoza. Anaid Del Rio Alcantara. I would like to say thank you to all my teachers and all my friends as well as all my family for helping me get this far and helping me be able to be where I am. Alexis Ann DeLeon. 
I just want to say thank you to all my teachers for supporting me and good luck to you all. Chase Allen DeHelio. I've been a part of theater, junior ROTC, and audiovisual, and I'd just like to say be the person you want to be and don't let anyone or anything get in the way. Neva Danae Yvonne Dixon. Um, I would like to thank all the teachers that helped me when I first got here. I would like to thank my family for all that they've done to support me, my friends. They've taught me a lot while I've been here. Adriana E. Beth Dominguez. Andrew J. Durante. And I'm thankful for teachers like Mr. Posey, my family, and my friends. Cardarius Marquise Edmund. Uh, thank you, Western Hears, period. <laughs> Lazaro Auz Ikela. Luis U. Escobedo. And I want to thank all my teachers for this amazing journey I've had, and a special thanks to my mom for encouraging me to do better in school and in life. Lisette Espinosa. Ever Allen Estrada Miramontes. And I want to thank my parents and my teachers too for supporting me. And uh... Anthony Ryan Everett. Crystal Rainisha Felton. I just want to thank my whole family for supporting me. Jesus Manuel Figueroa Roman. James Ryan Fitzhugh. I, I plan on attending TCC after I graduate, and I want to thank all the teachers that have helped me through high school. Wesley Ivan Frere. I would like to shout out for the girls soccer team and the boys soccer team and also uh, Coach Ayala and Coach Grissett and Coach Collins and Coach Solis and my family for pushing me forward. Tyree Montrell Gardner. I just want to say thank you to all my family and friends. Without y'all, I wouldn't have made it. Ashley Naomi Glass. And I am thankful for my parents. That's pretty much it. Kiani Janae Glenn. I'd like to thank my family and my teachers for helping me learn new things and teaching me new things about adulthood. Stephen Tomas Goff. Thank everybody for making this a great senior year. Thank you to all my teachers. Thank you to Mr. Posey and uh, Mr. Buells for organizing all this. And I wish everybody a great future. Go Western Hills. Leslie Veronisa Gomez. I would like to thank my parents and the amazing faculty and teachers for dealing with me for years and see you guys in 10 years at the... Elian Gonzalez. Christopher Caleb Grismore. Thank you, parents. Thank you, teachers. Thank you uh, to everyone uh, who has uh, been doing good through this uh, coronavirus. Ronnie Hall. In high school, choir was like my home, and I enjoyed it. All the people I got to meet over the high school years. I enjoyed all my time here, basically. It's really nice. Thank you. Deavion Mercedes Hampton. I would like to thank my family and my teachers, Ms. Wilson and Ms. Young, and also Ms. Frost. Um, I will be attending TCC to become a teacher. Rashawn Hampton. Trey Lynn Keith Hawkins. I just want to give a shout out to my teachers and let you guys know life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first. Kaylon J. Sean Haynes. Uh, I'd like to thank my teachers and friends for helping me out. Demarcus Christopher Henry. Uh, I want to 
want to give thanks to all my teachers, uh, friends, and family. I couldn't have done it without you guys, and I really appreciate it. Fernando Hernandez de la Rosa. I want to say thank you to my parents and my friends that always have my back. Guillermina Hernandez Mejia. Judah Ezekiel Huckleberry. Uh, I want to thank all my teachers, all my coaches, and uh, all my friends. And yeah, that's really it. Faith Everleen Huddleston. I'd like to say thank you to my dad, my mom, my brother, and everybody who got me here. I'd like to give a special thank you to Mr. Posey because he got me through my last year. And thank you to all the teachers who got me. Lauren Renee Hugo. I just wanted to thank everybody that supported me along the way. Manuel Antonio Hurtado. Blake Allen Ingram. Spencer C. Island. I've done International Thespian Society and I've been in band for about three years. And some of the things I like about this school is that a good chance with theater and band. Andrea Jarnigan. Jocelyn Kirsten Johnson. I want to thank Ms. Gonzalez, Coach Yeager, and Coach Shazaria Johnson. Um, I'm thankful for my teachers and my family and my friends for always believing in me and pushing me forward to succeed. And yeah. Isaiah Javon Michael Jones. I just want to shout out to all the teachers and just remember the sky isn't the limit I when it's footsteps on the moon. Amalia Juarez. Thank you to my mom uh, for helping me out for my school and woke me up in the morning. Heather Page Clum. Very thankful for all the teachers for all the hard work they've done. They gave all their time for us to uh, learn things that we never learned before, so thank you. Anicia Claudine Lafferty. Thank you, Ms. Fonville, and thank you, Ms. Price. Sean Lewis Lee. Sydney Morgan Leonard. Thank you to all my teachers and parents and everyone who's been with me. Mabel Leva. Gracias, mamá y papá, por el, uh, todo lo que me han hecho por mí. And thank you to all my teachers. You guys were always there for me when I needed you guys the most. Alexander Lopez. Sabrina Lopez. Rafael Lopez Aguilar. Reynaldo Lopez Fuentes. Right, my name is Reynaldo Lopez. I want to tell you to come to Western Hills. It's worth it. They actually help you a lot. They're the best school. I recommend it. Erica Lasoya. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. Jesse Isaiah Lugo. Jasmine Nicole Luna. I had perfect attendance twice. I'm in choir. My favorite teachers are Mr. Chandler and Mr. Alchando. I'm planning on attending TCC. Eddie Den Mai. I want to give a shout out to all my family and my friends and all the teachers and staff at Western Hills High School for motivating me to finish high school and graduate. Jonathan Martinez Aranda. George Martinez Cruz. Uh, I just want to thank my parents for, I guess, birthing me. Um, probably my grandparents for birthing my parents and uh, it seems like a good chain. Dulce Maria Martinez Garcia. 
I'd like to thank my parents and my siblings especially for always helping me um, any chance that I need uh, to get to this place that I am today. I couldn't have done it without them. Saeed Maya. Shout out to my parents, shout out to all my friends, and shout out to me. Ethan McCollum. I want to thank all the coaches and all the people that were there for me and uh, just pursue your dreams. Don't give up, you know what I'm saying? Um, do what you got to do. Don't stop and keep grinding. Rania Khalees McDonald. I would like to thank my mom for everything she has done for me. When I was down, she helped me up. Anything I needed, she gave it to me and I just love her a lot. <laughs> Zeke Martin McHenry. I'd like to thank my parents, everyone that's pushed me to get this far, and especially Mr. Posey. <laughs> Cassandra Ruby Medina Navarro. Aoun Mehdi. Linda Jasmine Mendoza. Gracias por todo lo que hacen por mí. Ulises Montanez Martinez. Jovan Montalongo. Isaac Noel Moreno. I would like to thank all my friends and family that got me to this point. It's been a long road and I'm glad it's all over with. Alberto Moreno Mendoza. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me, everything I do, my friends and family. They supported me all through these four years. Angel de Jesus Maureen. I'd like to say thank you to my family for giving me so much support throughout these last four years and everyone who has been a part of it. Thank you to all my teachers. Uh, the principal of the school has been amazing. Thank you for everything. Alex Edward Moses. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for pushing me through high school and thanks for motivating me to get A's and B's and not failing. Axel Homero Muller. I would like to thank all my teachers for supporting me. I also want to tell my classmates that I believe in them, that they can do whatever they set out to do, and that I love them all. I'd like to also thank my teacher, Ms. Snyder, for helping me a lot. Eric Munoz. Gabriel Anthony Musick. Uh, I'd like to thank the baseball team, the teachers, the staff, just everyone involved in West Hills for making it a great high school experience. Alice Mutu Yamana. Eridani Nava Antunes. I want to thank my mom and dad, my sister, my brother, and all my friends and family that supported me throughout this four years of high school. Laser Nelson. I want to thank all my teachers and parents and friends that supported me through my high school years. And y'all are the best at Western Hills. Carrington Demaya Nero. I would like to thank my family and all my teachers for helping me get to the point that I am right now. Aislinn Eileen Ochoa. I'd like to thank all of my coaches and teachers who supported me in my decisions throughout this whole high school year. Jennifer Olivas. Orlando Orozco Rodriguez. I want to give a shout out to the boys soccer team, Coach Collins, Coach Solis, and my parents for helping me throughout the four years. Jorge Luis Ortiz Cartagena. I just want to shout out my teachers for making sure I passed and Push me to do great things. Herman Payares. I just want to say thank you for all these four years that I spent in the high school there with my friends, my parents, and I hope for for the future. Thank you a lot. Shamar K. Parks. 
I want to give a special shout out to Ms. Frost, Mr. Richondo, and Mr. Brewer for always being there and helping me out and having a nice conversation when I needed one. I want to give a special shout out to also to my friends. Haley, Simone, Kendall, Paul. Kelvin Antonio Perdomo. I'd like to thank my parents for always pushing me hard into graduating. Kylie Nicole Perkins. I want to shout out to Mr. Anchando and to Mr. Miss Aliki. They really helped me like figure out like how to study in college. Brendan Ronnie Pollard. I just wanted to shout out to my parents, my grandparents, and my little sister for always being supportive of me and following with me anything I do, anywhere I went. Madeline Jean Porth. I would like to give a shout out to my family and friends for always encouraging me to do my best and to the Western Hills staff for supporting me through my high school years. Katherine Lee Rabel. I just like to thank my coaches and all of my teachers for always, what is the word, like encouraging me to go everywhere and thanks. Alexander Ramirez. I want to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my grandma and all my family for being supportive throughout my whole school year. Katrina Marie Ramirez. I want to say thank you to Coach Farmville and to my parents. Stephen Gabriel Ramos. I want to say thank you to all my family and friends for always being there for me and uh, wishing me luck through all my school years. Star Day Catrice Randall. I just want to say thank you to all of my teachers that got me through this. Edith Reyes. I just want to thank all my teachers for being there all four years of my life and guiding me through them. Thank you very much. Edgar Yvonne Rios. Uh, I just want to thank my football coaches, uh, Mr. Posey and my parents for helping me throughout high school. Jorge Benjamin Rios Rodriguez. I'd like to thank all my teachers and especially Mr. Rock and Coach Jackson. They've always helped me and they always push me and they're like my friends. Nicholas and Twain Robertson. Cameron Pierce Rodriguez. I would like to thank all my family and friends at this school for helping me uh, graduate. Carmen Yolanda Rosales. I want to thank uh, my parents, my interpreters, my coach, uh, Coach Kubasek and uh, Coach Owen. Shimaj E. John Rovarez. I'm thankful for everyone that supported me. Thank you for giving me where I'm at today. Moise Rakundo. Isaiah Elijah Russ. Leslie Marilyn Salgado. I am a senior who will soon graduate will graduate and go to Tarrant County. I would want to thank everyone. Robert Anthony Sanchez. My name is Robert Sanchez. I want to thank my family, all my friends that have been through all these times. And I just want to say thank you. I, w I couldn't have um, gone through here without them. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Sanchez. Alexis Sandoval. Jesus A. Sanson. I want to thank my mom for supporting me on everything and my whole family and friends. Nelson Santiago. I want to thank all the teachers and my parents that pushed me this far and uh, I finally graduated and I'm here. Kale Michael Sawin. Janae Damari Scott. 
I would like to say thank you to my grandma for always being there for me and my mother for always supporting me. Keisha Keishan Scott. I'd like to thank my parents and my family and uh, your firstborn did it. You have five more to go. Well, four, sorry. Four more to go. Savannah Rose Simmons. I would like to thank my entire family, but especially my mom for waking up early with me every morning to take me to band practice. Lauren Ashley Smith Henderson. I just want to say that I'm glad I came to this school and I'm glad for all the experiences I've had, whether good or bad. Reese Lydia Smythe. I would like to thank all of my teachers for everything they taught me and especially my family since I moved to this school and I was very scared of it. But in all honesty, it turned out really good and I graduated early. Aldo Solis. Gabriel Soto. I want to thank my mom and my teachers for keeping me on my work and helping me stay on my grades. So. Jalissa Beatrice Spells. I would like to thank my family and friends for being supportive and always being there for me and me and helping me get through things that I had tough times doing. Rayana Malia Stanton. I would like to thank my family. They've been the biggest support for me. When I was down, they really helped me out, and I really thank them for that. Anthony Elijah Strong. Colby William Sutton. I would like to thank God, God, all of my teachers um, and my family um, that have helped me, helped me make it um, to where I am um, today. Aaron Michael Swigert. Thank you for everything. Christian Jacob Taylor. Nakaya Zataya Thompson. I want to give thanks to my family and the teachers that's been supporting me through my senior year. It's been tough, but we've gotten through it, and I'm going to give thanks to Ms. Young and Ms. Anchanda and Ms. Wilson. Edith Torres Plaza. I want to say thank you to my friends and family for supporting me and loving me throughout this um, adventure. Raven Rain Valdez. I would like to make a shout out to all the teachers that pushed me to do my best and didn't let me give up. William Vargas. I'm actually kind of excited for graduation. I want to thank everybody, my teachers uh, personally, that helped me um, in my journey. And I wish everything good luck. Edwin Alexander Ventura. Well, it's the end of the road now. And uh, I guess the only words of wisdom I have to say is to the students is don't let schooling get in the way of your education. Labanot Vaselli. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for an amazing school year. Nayeli Sarahi Vieira. Thank you, Mr. Turner, for everything you do for us. Jesse Villarreal. I want to thank Ms. Flores, Mr. Posey, and Mr. Bills for always pushing me to be great. Phelan LeSean Walker. I would like to thank my mom and my friends and Western Hills for like giving me a, a different look in school. It really had a good positive influence. Brad Lewis Washington Jr. I want to give a special shout out to my mama for giving me up all those mornings. Christian Joshua Watson. I want to thank all my family and friends, teachers, and everything, everyone, and all my family members. And I'm pretty much glad to be here. Messiah West. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, really my whole family for supporting me for everything. 
and I would like to thank the teachers for supporting me too as well. Ty Shanique E. West. I want to thank my mom for everything she did for me and being there for me. Ashanti Shmian White. I would like to thank all my teachers and the assistant principals and principals of the school for helping me with my four years of high school. Jordan Jamal Williams. Veronica A. Woods. I just wanted to say thank you for inviting me into your family and goodbye class of 2020. Isaiah Young. Alex Steven Zabala Jr. I wanted to give a shout out to my, my family. Thanks for all your support and staying by my side and giving me confidence. Yennefer Zaragoza. I just want to give out a shout out to all my teachers and my mom. Jonathan Zapetta. Uh, I want to thank my parents and all of my teachers that helped me to get through school. My name is Katrina Ramirez, a senior class officer. For over a year now, we've worn our class rings with the school name towards us to remind us that our hearts and our efforts belong to Western Hills. Now as we approach becoming graduates, please join me in turning our rings outwards to declare to the world that we are proud graduates of Western Hills High School. Good evening, my name is Sarah Baker and I am one of your senior class officers. The turning of the tassel symbolizes one's transition from candidate to graduate from student to alumni. Turning the tassel from one side to the other means that we are turning another page in our lives, going from the past to the future. It serves as a final act given to graduates as they are done with another part of their academic lives. In accordance with this time-honored tradition, I would like the members of this great class to signify the completion of their high school years at Western Hills by moving their tassels from right to left at this time. And now for the moment you have all been waiting for and to make this official for the Western Hills School Senior Class of 2020. By the powers vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fort Worth Independent School District and the State of Texas, I, Carrie Flores, declare that these seniors have met all requirements for graduation and are officially graduated from Western Hills High School.